Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Kilted Balls podcast. So much to talk about today, I think. I think we have a lot to talk about. I don't know. I think so. I mean, it feels like I, I like your dad's shirt. Thank you. Tristan got this for me. Did he? I think that's wonderful. I think it's wonderful that you're like a dad now. Like, that's not something I, I think that you thought was going to happen. I did not think it was going to happen. I always thought it would be awesome. And I can't, I mean, you, obviously, you know, but I can't explain. And I don't think you can really explain to someone how awesome it is to not only worry about yourself, but have somebody else that you're concerned for and that you love very much that you don't want to sleep with. <laughs> Which sounds like not right. Like it shouldn't be fun that you worry about somebody else. But that is for sure true. I also noticed you've got a kind of sultry voice. That's kind of hot. Yeah, I was. Well, if you remember correctly, I was not feeling well last week. Yes, but that was was last week. That was at the beginning of it. And I thought it was all over. And I was playing my games Saturday with my friends. And then all of a sudden, we're at like the 11th hour, and all of a sudden, my voice went away. <laughs> and Jessica, we, we, it's Matt and I, and we play with Corey and Jessica, and she goes, um, did something happen when I went downstairs? Because you had a voice when I left. <laughs> Was this like D&D? We were playing, we're playing um, Silent Hill Legacy. Okay. Really cool. What is, is that like a role-playing game? It's more, we role play because we're like that, but yeah. it's more of a, uh, it's a, I mean, it's a board game, but like you're building the map of the house each time and tiles are flipped oh, and okay. that makes the house and you're exploring. I just and, wondered if they could make you like turn into a mute. <laughs> I know. Because so, that's happened to me in a campaign before. Oh man. But yeah, it was, it was very sad. And then it, I was, uh, yeah, I didn't have a voice like most of the weekend and it's coming back gradually. Well, that's good. I'm glad it's coming back because you kind of need your voice. Yeah. Actually, it's funny because I was looking through the list because it was before I put the shirt on, but I was thinking about being a dad and how awesome it is. And, um, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, I wonder like where I could put this in the book and how, but I don't think I could really explain it better obviously than you but i'm coming at it from a different angle so i was gonna say you're coming at a different angle which means you probably Mm -hmm. you probably could i think yeah i think you probably could Mm -hmm. um so i was just sharing with kilted before we got online this interesting uh scenario that happened and maybe it's somebody i i don't know i don't really know the person right Mm -hmm. but i think because i don't know the person it would be great to interview them (laughs) <laughs> I think so. I think that'd be awesome. Right? Like sometimes Maybe. things just work out and I'm like, oh yeah, that so here's the thing, people, that Kilted and I talk about a lot, and we've talked about it on the on the podcast a lot. But you you have to recognize when the universe is talking to you. Like I don't I don't know how to explain that besides saying that. Um if you're religious. Right. Like you've got to recognize when God's telling you to do something. And so I was just telling Kilted this story about this person. And as I sat here to tell the story right now, I thought, crap, we should interview that person. I bet their story is amazing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Some of the things that you were just saying, it sounded like he's a very interesting person. And I and I said like three sentences and then I was like, wait, this is podcast Mm -hmm. material which sometimes happens to us so here's the deal i'm meeting with um a co-worker at school who i've known for 20 plus years right and he was he said hey if you uh, ever have work you need done like at a rental or whatever my brother's kind of getting into this handyman business now i've known him for 20 some years so you can imagine he's kind of old like he's older than me right Mm -hmm. And his brother's kind of old. And I remembered we were laughing about his brother because I had his brother's students in class and his brother and their kids go to my church. 
Okay. So I've seen him there. And I remember like a month or so ago, he was telling me that his brother was going to have another baby. And like, remember, <laughs> they're like older than me, I think. So yeah. it's like, ah, uh-huh. like I like it's crazy having Cal. Like yes. I wouldn't trade it for anything. But like, I remember the shock we went uh-huh. through when we found out we were going to have Cal. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, that poor guy. But mm-hmm. so anyway, the guy is not, in my brain, a handyman. Yeah. So he's worked all of these like really high level jobs. His most recent was as a personnel director for like a company. Mm-hmm. But what happened was, is he's always headhunted and he was headhunted to work at this company being the personnel director. And he worked mm-hmm. there for years, right? Made great money, was working there, decided finally to take a vacation. He never missed work. Mm -hmm. and he was like you know what i need a vacation so he took Mm -hmm. a week vacation and when he got back like they were basically like you can't ever leave everything's on fire because you took a vacation and he was like peace um Mm -hmm. here's my 30-day notice i'm i'm leaving right because when you're one of those people like us Mm -hmm. you you know your worth Mm -hmm. and you're always ready to walk away if it doesn't feel right. Yep. Right. And like, I know I've been that way in my education field forever. The very, and this might sound weird for some of you, Kilton knows this, Mm -hmm. like my first job in education, like I think it was three months in, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be here next year. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, do you have another job lined up? And I'm like, no. (laughs) <laughs> and yeah, i'm like it's not gonna be here yeah and i go and i wouldn't leave you in the middle of the year like i wouldn't screw you or anybody mm-hmm. else that way mm-hmm. but i'm gonna let you know now you've got like eight months to plan i'm gonna be out mm-hmm. and they're like listen young buck people don't like turn in a one-year notice and you don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> and blah 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 and i'm like welcome to my life mm-hmm. i go I, I go i go you can do whatever you want but I won't be here next year. So, because when you know, you know, right. Yeah. When, yep. when things are telling you it, you know, and you know, we don't wait around to kind of figure that out. And so it's interesting that this guy was like that, right? Like mm-hmm. he felt, and he was like, okay, peace. So then he's out and he's enjoying life. He's got a kid on the way and he's like at the party store, a little convenience store in town. Mm-hmm. And he's like doing some stuff and he's talking with the guy about, you know, yeah, I'm kind of, Ha ha, I'm unemployed, right? Like they were kind of joking. And this guy mm-hmm. next to him in line is like, really? Good, because I need help on a roof. Two of my guys just called in and they can't help. And so I could use help. So why don't you come like help me on this roof? And he's like, uh, okay. Like he didn't know the guy, yeah. uh-huh. right? <laughs> but again, you get that feeling. And so he's mm-hmm. like, uh, yeah, I'll come help you out. And then like that kind of turning things. And so he started helping somebody else. And then, you know, like I said, he's a business guy. So he made his LLC Mm -hmm. and he did all of this. And so my assistant principal was like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so then we're talking about other stuff. I'm like, hey, just so you know, I'm so busy. Anybody who follows the podcast knows this is the busy Mm -hmm. season. I'm like, I've had a vacancy for like three months. And I'm like, and I just don't have time to get it ready. Mm-hmm. if you're serious if he's really doing this have him give me a call and i just looked at my phone right as we were getting on and i had a voicemail <laughs> and it was him saying oh, okay. hey give me a call you know they said you're too busy coaching right now if you need mm-hmm. me to do something you know i've got my whole life's experience i'll get it done and That's i'm like awesome. listen you could have no experience i wouldn't <laughs> care i just need somebody to go get the shit done <laughs> You know, that's awesome. But so again, like, then I'm like, oh, he should be on the podcast. So I'll probably meet with him to go mm-hmm. do this work. And I'll probably be like, yo, bro, why don't you come like on my podcast? I'll Zoom call you in. And yeah, we'd love to hear your story. Right. Because that's kind of one of the big things of our podcast, hearing different people's story on their journey. Mm-hmm. And I think that's pretty powerful. I think, yeah, I think that would be awesome if you could. If yeah, because it sounds like and he and he may be somebody who is who thinks the same as we do, and he may mm-hmm. be somebody who who thinks totally different, but his actions 
are what they are, which is awesome. His actions awesome. are what they are, right? Mm-hmm. Like the actions are what they are. Mm-hmm. And so I think that that'd be fun. And speaking about like the, those kind of universe shenanigans, mm-hmm. you were part of this, but I think this is super funny. So tonight I am drinking spotted cow. Did I already tell you guys the story of the spotted cow? I don't think so. So before Christmas, I went to the barber because if you look at some past episodes, my hair was out of control. Again, busy season. I don't have time. Mm-hmm. And I went to the barber and I'm, I'm kind of known, right? Like people know mm-hmm. me. And I came in with Cal who's never wants to go to the barber. Mm-hmm. And so we kind of came in and the one barber was there and we walked in with like another person. There were like two people waiting in line. It's one guy. It's four o'clock. He closes at five, right? Oh, yeah. And he's like, shit. Like when we walk in mm-hmm. and I'm sitting there and he like picks up his phone and he calls somebody. And he's like, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't watch that kid. Like, mm-hmm. sorry. I, I had three people walk in. Listen, I don't know what to tell you. Blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And he gets off the phone and, you know, I know him and I'm like, what's up, bro? And his wife (laughs) arranged some kind of a doctor visit. It's a whole story. Mm -hmm. But in order to get it to happen, somebody needed to watch the kid, the the doctor's kid, (laughs) a three-year-old. And so she was like, hey, I volunteered you to watch this kid who we don't know. (laughs) And he's like, no, like what? And then he like had to leave work to get there by like five Mm -hmm. and we all walked in. And so he's like sitting there and he's like, you know, buyers, he goes, I'm not going to be able to do Cal. And I'm like, listen, listen, if you can only do one, do Cal, because he never wants to get his hair cut. And if he wants to get his hair cut, we're we're freaking getting it cut. (laughs) And I go, so I'm out. And he's like, okay. And he's like, have you ever had spotted cow? So we're getting to the universe part. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no. And he's like, you know, go into the closet. I've, I've got a 12 pack of spotted cow in there. Go grab yourself one while we kind of like chit chat. Yeah. And I'm like, sweet. So I go get a beer. So I'm at the barber having a beer, which I think is the greatest thing. Mm-hmm. Like sure, Reg, wet Reggie days. Yes. It totally reminds me of that I'm like, yes, this is what I was dreaming of. And so I have a spotted cow and I'm like, wow, this is a good beer. I like this. And he's like, you can only get it in Wisconsin. It's that's it. He goes, Mm -hmm. it's only sold in Wisconsin. Literally says on the can only in Wisconsin. Right. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah. And I have people who, when they go through Wisconsin, like over through Chicago, I always have them pick me up a case. I'm like, Oh, that's awesome. Thanks a lot, bro. And I liked it. I was like, that's a pretty good beer. Fast Mm -hmm. forward. You and I are at the Christmas party. Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> and it was spotted cow. The gift I got at the Christmas party, which is kind of random, people. I did not was realize Was a that. case of spotted That's cow. Funny. I know you were <laughs> drinking it and you were excited, but I didn't hear the story then. That is super awesome. So the universe talks to you. That's the kind of universe shenanigans that you've got to recognize and know and love, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, oh. I heard you wanted this kind of beer. Have a case on me. Yeah. (laughs) Let's get this to work out. Yes. I'm Mm -hmm. like, oh, my goodness. So people pay attention. The universe shenanigans are real. I'm I'm sad I didn't have some now. Oh, my gosh. I enjoy it. Left out. I know. I I, there was only half a case left when I left that party (laughs) because I gave so many away. I know. I didn't get any. Which, again, is important, people. Give, mm-hmm. give stuff away. The the universe, God, whatever is going to return that favor to yes, you. Yes, yes. So, that is very, very true. Yeah, I think people who hoard too much, they're missing out. Mm-hmm. Just give. If it's meant to be, it'll come back to you, right? I had a person once, let a butterfly go. You know, if it's yours, it'll come back. And I'm like, it's yep. a butterfly. I'll, it's just going to die. Mm-hmm. Which it's brings like, up the- like two weeks. <laughs> here just a second no you're good oh my gosh do you guys see that like he walks out of the screen and it's like an alien there i I actually don't know 
Oh, okay. this is my dragon egg. Oh, is that what it is? Gina, <laughs> Gina got it for me for Christmas. It's a little dragon egg. That is so funny. Like it was out of focus the whole time, and then you disappear, and it's like boop. Um, yeah, yeah. Banks didn't make it into the room tonight, so mm. he's he's been barking enough in the background. I'm sure people have been hearing it. So, so here's me just saying that about um. The butterfly dying brings up something else. Um, I got a gift the other day. Mm -hmm. I think people are liking that we're talking about books. Mm -hmm. So someone sent me a book. It was called, it is called The Prophet. Have you ever heard of The Prophet? Book. Mm -hmm. Nice. I, and so I picked it up and, I, and someone was like, you know, you'll be able to read it pretty quickly, like in an mm -hmm. hour. And I'm like, yeah, it seems like a decent book, but I picked it up and no kidding. It, it probably will take me a half hour, right? Mm -hmm. It's small. It's fast, except for one thing. So I sat down and started reading it because I didn't understand it. I don't know anything about it. And I read like the first 20 pages, which is mm -hmm. it doesn't have chapters, but it's probably like the first three chapters. Yeah. Right. It's it's so fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard because like that wasn't in jest just now when I said that about mm -hmm. the butterfly and me going, what are you like? It's going to die. I don't know what you're mm -hmm. talking about. Part of my brain wiring is I'm very literal. Like I don't, I don't understand a lot of nuances or when people are figurative, I have to decode those. Right. So when people are talking to me and they're being figurative, my brain is actually decoding that. Mm hmm. Right. And you obviously know this. You have spent lots and lots of time mm -hmm. with me, but I think things literally and it drives people crazy a lot of times who are like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, actually, yeah, I don't. I, I hear what don't. you say. <laughs> I actually yeah. don't know what you mean. I, I, I know exactly what you said. And mm -hmm. a lot of people say that comes from all the chemistry, right? Because mm -hmm. chemistry is a very literal, straightforward thing. The freaking book is all figurative. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine like, <laughs> you probably think it's going to take you a half hour to read <laughs> I'm like this is going to take me a half hour and like I read it like I, I, I read like a page and I'm like and I read the page again and I'm like read the page again I'm like like I like here's a great example I the chapter I'm on is like on children or something right mm -hmm. and so I read it it's like children are of you but they don't come from you i'm like yes yes they do they literally come from you your body puts them together one mm -hmm. strand of dna at a time mm -hmm. and then i keep reading and i'm like no 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 like that's <laughs> that's not it and then i'm like oh they want me to think something else they want me to take that as like an allegory or as a mm -hmm. metaphor or as a simile and i'm like oh crap what are they trying to say because i'm reading it mm -hmm. literally and people don't get me wrong i'm not like sheldon or drax or anything like that mm -hmm. right but it is a thing right yeah. like it's it is a thing mm -hmm. and that book is it's going to be work so I probably won't be able to read it in an hour because I'm probably going to have to reread everything like 10 times and just like stare at it, trying to figure out what he's trying to say. Like, what's he mean here? Let's see. Like, what the hell is he talking about? I'm like, why would he say that? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Right? Yeah. I think Sierra, Sierra or Justin had that. I remember, and it was, I was like, okay, this sounds interesting, and I, I remember it being really good. I or mean, it seems, got somebody. I'm reading it, and I, it's like a lot of things, like I'm reading it, and I'm like, I can understand why people would like this book, and why they would love this book. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm that person, <laughs> <laughs> right, but I can. I can understand it, right? It's like when you see a friend with with like a girl or a guy and you're like, I can see why they like them. I would never like them. Yeah. <laughs> like that would never be a thing. 
but I can see why they do. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's kind of how I'm like, I'm reading it. I'm like, oh, yeah. I bet this is like really pretty prose. Right? Because I'm <laughs> reading it, I'm like, oh, I like the schema of this. And I like this rhythm. And I, mm-hmm. I can see why somebody would like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I mean, I, I don't. Like, I want to get to the point. Like, uh-huh. tell me the thing. Tell me the thing. But I'm having to decode the thing. It's interesting. Here's what it reminds me of. And Amy still thinks this is one of the funniest moments. My family once years ago, my, we went out to a big dinner, right? So every, every so often my family, it's a huge family, but we'll go and we'll like take over a restaurant and Mm -hmm. get something fancy. So we went to Ann Arbor to the Gandhi dancer. I think Have you ever been there. That sounds familiar. Yeah, it's like some super there. fancy place, right? And so mm-hmm. I walk in, and you've been at restaurants with me before, so you know kind of mm-hmm. how I am. And they had a bucket of seafood. like That was on the menu. And so I'm mm-hmm. like, give me the bucket. I know, I know this story, but it's good. You yes. should tell it again. But I'm like, give me the bucket, <laughs> because then, right, for those you know, I eat a lot. And mm-hmm. hearing something like a bucket of seafood is like, Yes, and they brought out this bucket of seafood, and it was beautiful, and it was amazing, and I was so mad <laughs> because you couldn't eat any damn thing in the bucket. Like everything had shells, everything you had to like work to get into. There was uh-huh. like hammers and nutcrackers <laughs> and like stabby things. It literally took me like an hour to get through the bucket. I had to get McDonald's on the way home. That's a true story. <laughs> I, got, I was so hungry. I got McDonald's on the way home because I couldn't eat the soup. And they're all like, how are you having so much trouble? And I'm like, why do I have to break in to get the food? Like, I just want to eat the food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to have to like shatter shells and all of that. So anyway, not impressed. If I could give you the, the Maroni face. Uh huh. I was. I do remember. I do remember that you were not excited. I was not excited. I was so grumpy. Mm-hmm. So grumpy. So yeah, that is hilarious. Yeah, but I mean, I'm reading it, and I think it's important because it's kind of like stuff we've talked about. I think you have to mm-hmm. do things to broaden your horizons and to look at other perspectives. So even though it's hard for me, I think it's important that I do it, and I think I'm getting stuff out of it. Oh, awesome! But I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, like maybe I am. You just but have to see how you feel. Like at the end of everything, that's, like okay, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, so I'm getting feels. So maybe when I'm done with the whole thing, it'll all come together for me, and I'll be like, yeah, I get it. So, like this is perfect, right? Like I'll be like, yes. So I we'll understand. see. <laughs> that's awesome. It's a good time. It's a good time. So yeah, people keep sending us books. We'll pretend to read them. Yeah, that's great. No, I'm well. So I misspoke last week. I do have to say I thought I was a chapter into the Kin of Ata, but I was only to the first like little section, the little section break <laughs> in the chapter. The first chapter was really long, but I am. I think I'm like halfway through the second chapter now. I am enjoying the book still, and uh, yeah. So idea. far, so good. So far, so good. That's I do nice. have, after that, I do have this, which I don't know if I'm going to learn much from this, but it's one that I want to read that I can pass it along to people. Giving Ben a shout out here. Oh, the Catching, catching up, to up to Crypto. And that's oh. BitBoy wrote that. So. Okay. Oh, I saw that somewhere. And I was like, is this BitBoy's, like, I just had a feeling. And mm-hmm. I was like, is Ben Armstrong BitBoy's real name? Yeah. So, so I'm excited about that. That'll be next. You know what I'm getting ready to study? And what's that? On one hand, I'm like, ooh, I'm really late to the game. This is bad. But then I thought it's kind of like NFTs. Mm-hmm. No matter how late to the game you think you are, you're still early, right? Mm-hmm. Even if you got into NFTs now, you're still stupid early. Mm-hmm. Um the ai awesome right have you been seeing that stuff with the ai i've been seeing ai stuff but it's like not it's like crazy 
It's, uh-huh. it's seriously like crazy. And so I found a tweet yesterday that the person was like, listen, if you want, I've got this all boiled down and you can teach yourself and blah, blah, blah. And, oh, really? And so I like jumped on that, like gave him my email and stuff and said, send me it. And, you know, I only read like the blurbs, like the tweets, let's say, Mm -hmm. but already I've started to like pick up on stuff and I'm like, okay, I need to know more. I need to know more. And, um, I posted on a different Twitter account. So not kilted balls, Mm -hmm. but on my other one, I posted Mm -hmm. that it like took the medical boards and passed. Really? (laughs) And they're like, yeah, this, this can revolutionize how people study and it can help people study and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, we are, I get the feels that we're passing a threshold right now. So is that teaching you how to do it or just giving you information about it and kind of like catching you up to AI, catching up to crypto? Is that what made you think of that? Yeah, the catching up to crypto, because I was like, I'm trying to catch up to this AI. Mm -hmm. And um, full disclosure, when I first like started to like get an inkling, my thought was, how can I apply this to NFTs and crypto and stocks? Right. I was like, I bet I can apply this to that. Mm -hmm. And then I saw that post come up on my feed. And I was like, oh, I'm going to look at that post. And then I emailed them and then I started getting the info. And now I'm like, okay. I and Someone I don't know. Might that, be telling cool. you something. Something might be telling you something. When things pop up, <laughs> freaking listen, people. Uh-huh. Listen to what's being told, and don't. We people talk a lot about opportunities passing them by. Mm-hmm. And I've had lots. I've had lots and lots pass me by. But I think it's important for you to hear that message and jump. And if it's nothing, you're you're not out anything but a little time. And if yeah. you're right, you just gain that opportunity. And the big one that I always go back to in my life right now is always Bitcoin. I I was mining before Bitcoin mm-hmm. was a thing, right? Back when Bitcoin was a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And how many times did the universe say, "Here's some people who are doing Bitcoin stuff. Here's some people doing Bitcoin stuff. Hey, more stuff with Bitcoin." More crypto. Mm-hmm. And what did I do? I just ignored it over and over and over. Mm-hmm. And now I'm I'm catching up, but I'm so far behind what I would have been. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, I don't you can't really think about that, or she'll won't be really excited, but right. I mean, well, I don't I don't regret the decisions. I'm sure I was using yes. my brain power for something else. Yes. Right. So like yes. having kids or something. Right. You were having kids, I think. Kids yeah. takes up a lot of your mental brain. That is true. To me, it does, right? Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They do, especially when they're little. They're like I'm finding suckers. that out. Although I was thinking about it too. It's because I keep getting my years confused because something was happening and I was like, oh, because I was talking about someone was talking about how long they've been in NFTs. Oh, yeah. And Oh, what, what, uh, which one was it? The story stinks now because <laughs> I wasn't planning on telling it. Sorry. Any, no, it was, it was one of the, it was one of the things. It's one of the projects that we are, that we are in, or at least I'm in. And it was like, oh, how long have you been? Are you early to this project? And I looked it up and I was like, I was like, it was June or July, 2021. I was like, huh, like that seems like a long time ago. <laughs> but like thinking back to then, it was some of the early stuff that we were buying then. Yes. And everything was running up and just, you know, thinking about some of those things and like how how things were back then. And I, I forget what it was, but it was something that, yeah, I, I would say I was an OG. I think you're but an OG just, in a lot of things. But just, um, you know, ha- we're, we've gone through all that. I mean, I can't even, I can't even fathom, like, what if we, what if we all would have been like, Hey, let's just take a few thousand dollars and buy some of this Bitcoin and just see what happens. What if that's all we did? What if when my students first got into it, I was like, you know what? Let's just buy 10 of them. Mm-hmm. 
Because I was telling, I mean, I had said, hey, this would be cool. But, you know, my previous relationship, me saying something would be really cool to invest in was did not necessarily. Well, work. and for me, I'm like, I'm like, it's like at the time I was like, this is just a joke. I'm not going to buy any. It's a joke. Mm-hmm. Like I knew I understood it, mm-hmm. but I didn't get it. But yeah. looking back and I would have sold it, right? Like I would have sold yeah. those 10 when it hit 50,000. No question in my <laughs> yeah. mind. Uh-huh. Right? I wouldn't have cared if it kept going up. I'd have been like, I'm going to take a half million dollars and then I'll decide what to do later. Well, you you might have gotten excited and sold it at 10,000. I might have. I mean, really? I, I very well could have. I would have right? had to lose the wallet and then find it at 50,000. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> It's just crazy. But, but yeah, we wouldn't I mean, be here right now and educating and, and you know, I wouldn't be in my situation wearing a dad shirt right now. Things so, things happen yeah. the way they're supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. It's kind of what I always feel like. But you do have to listen or so you have to do some things over and over again if you're not yeah. really listening and paying attention. So let me give you an example of this today. And I was telling Ava about it. And people, this is a little bit of a crypto story. So if you're one of the newer listeners who just likes our... Uh, inspiration you may or may not like this but obviously kilton and i trade crypto a lot and one of the strategies i've been using for a long long time trading crypto has made us a lot of money and lost us a lot of money Mm -hmm. but here's the thing that's always happened so this is the way it works and this is what we talk about learning your lessons right Mm mm-hmm So every time I've done any semblance of this strategy, what happens is, and Kilted has done this strategy with me, so it's not just me, but what happens is I win, I win, I win, maybe win again, maybe win again, maybe win again. I think, man, I'm kicking ass. You know what? I'm going to do it again, and I lose my ass. Mm -hmm. Just get crushed. Get pissed. Stop playing the game. (laughs) Oh, a few weeks goes by a month. I get back in the game and I'm like, ooh, I'm going to try that strategy again. And I win and I win and I win. And I'm like, I'm feeling good. And I'm like, I'm just going to do it a couple more times and I lose my ass. And every time we say we need to set stop losses, we need to set stop losses. And then a couple weeks goes by and I win, 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 lose again. Today couple funny things happened. But the first is I did the strategy again today. Mm-hmm. And I won, I won, I won. And I'm like, yeah. And I put away my phone. There you go. <laughs> I said, I'm out. <laughs> and I walked the F away. I didn't touch my phone. Mm-hmm. Now, a couple times after that, like a few hours later, I'm like. And I put my phone back away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did glance at a, a couple others later and nothing fit the strategy no. that I saw. Yes. And I but, checked it tonight. I was like, okay, it's been long enough. And I checked and nothing fit. And I was like, good. I'm out mm-hmm. and I'm happy. And mm-hmm. here's the funny part of today. And because like my daughter was like cracking up on, cracking up at me. So I'm at work and I'm, I had a little bit of free time and I did my first trade and I think mm-hmm. I made, I don't know, 25, 26%, right? And I was like, yay, that was fun. And like an hour or so goes by, I don't know, I'm like at lunch, I'm like, oh, my my trigger just went. And I'm like, mm-hmm. in my brain trigger, like not on yeah. paper. And I was like, oh, I'll do it again. And I did it and I made like 25, 30%. So I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's so funny. Then I'm doing my job, doing my job. And I'm right near the end of the day. There's like 15 minutes left. Right. Mm -hmm. And everybody's kind of busy. So I like open up like trading view on my computer Mm -hmm. or KuCoin. I don't know which one. And it's happening again. Really? And I'm like, yeah. And the thing was up like 68%, 70%. I'm looking Mm -hmm. at it. I'm like, yeah, maybe I should do this one more time. I'm like, that is really, really good. And I'm like looking at it. And so I'm getting ready to do an order and my daughter starts talking to me, right? And I'm not one of these people, especially when I'm like doing stuff like that, where I pay attention to my phone and not my people, right? Mm-hmm. So they start talking to me. So I put my phone down 
and I'm like answering them and I'm talking to them and I'm like half looking and they walk away and the freaking thing is plummeted. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, gosh, darn it. And so I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to put that buy order in anyway, even though it's plummeted and I'm going to walk away. So I put the buy order in and I walk away thinking it's not going to hit. Right. Cause mm -hmm. it was a, it was a stupid high buy order. Mm -hmm. And so I go and I'm like talking to people and doing stuff. And there's like five minutes left in the day. And I'm like, okay, let me like do a little spiel here and talk to people. And as I'm talking, I see on my computer that the stupid thing is wicked. <laughs> and I'm like, know. I'm like, oh, it probably bought. And I'm like talking, right? And I'm not talking about easy stuff. I'm talking about complicated stuff, mm -hmm. right? And I'm like, la la la. And I see it kind of start to drop. And I'm like, I haven't set a profit or loss yet. <laughs> I'm like, so now is your chance to take your L for the day because she tried it one more time. And I'm like, I'm going to take an L because I'm not, I can't pay attention. And so mm -hmm. I'm like talking, I'm like, I'm not taking an L. So I get out my phone mm -hmm. and I open it and I'm up like 20 or 30%. That's and I'm awesome. like, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Except I needed to set my stop and I'm talking and doing stuff and trying to do the calculation for my stop that still gives me like 20 or 30%. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, okay, and so you got to do like the thing. And when you look <laughs> at the stuff, it's like the thing of the, mm -hmm. the stuff with the thing. Uh, yeah. And then I'm like, and I start doing my thing. <laughs> it's like after class, I'm like, I pulled my phone up afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, there's only like five minutes and it had closed at like 50 or 60%. That's awesome. So, so I made a ton, but my like daughter walks over and I'm like, oh my gosh, how funny is this? That in that five minutes, I just made 60% like while I'm doing stuff. She's like, um, I could tell. <laughs> like you were talking like an idiot <laughs> i'm like dar, dar, dar. i could tell you are not paying attention today <laughs> you're not paying attention at all while you're doing your like last summation i'm like oops that's my bad that's awesome <laughs> but that means i made like 25 25 and 60 mm-hmm yeah, that's like a hundred percent gain. I, I was up a little over a hundred percent today as well. That's a great day, and even if it doesn't happen every day, like that's the sad part. It, you can't do that every day, mm -mm. but if you do it every five when days, the when the patterns are right, that's oh, like awesome. Something that uh, I guess is getting close. But yeah. remember, remember, I got liquidated for yes. whatever reason. Tristan did not, so he's at negative seventy five percent right now, which sucks. But I was like, you can close that whenever. Like mine got like mine's gone. Right. Yours is so, poof. So yeah, for whatever reason, his did not hit. So he still he still has that money to play with, which I'm super excited about. That is so awesome. Super awesome. Well, we are out of time, folks. I want to thank you for listening to us babble. Um, mm -hmm. and I hope you enjoy the Kilted Balls podcast. This is